Hello Gemini, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Geminis. I know a lot of you know that, but some people don't. But Gemini, mid-November 2018. Or mid-November Gemini. Mid-November 2018 Gemini. Hope all is going well with you guys. Wanted to get this out before mid-November for, you know, for the reading of mid-November. Let's see what the incoming energy is. See what we're working with. Gain. Trying to earn money and finances and stability. And you may get it. Incoming energy. That's what you're focused on. In the past, you did have some happiness, some of you. You got a wish fulfilled, some of you, where you were wanting it and you were aiming for it with that gain card. So this is probably for Geminis that had some success or wanting success. I don't know too many Geminis that don't. I'm going to clarify these before I start out. And I usually turn these over because I don't want them influencing me at first. I'd rather look at them later so I can focus on the card at hand. And then I sum it up, hopefully. But you got the Nine of Cups. It's in the upright. And you had that game card, which is awesome. Nine of Cups, the wish card, and happiness. And, and, and it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful card in the past. Nine of Cups, why are you there? For Gemini, what's going on? Why are you there? You didn't reach... Your retirement type money you want, 100% stability, but you were aiming for. You want happiness. You were aiming for happiness. Why? Because you want your stability that you didn't have before. Your independence. And things, and even though you didn't 100% reach that, you were happy with whatever you were doing, trying to reach that, some of you. You also may be in the past making a wish for this because it didn't happen. This is a wish card too, the Nine of Cups. Can I get another card for the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles for Gemini? This is a new deck and it's kind of stiff. Yeah, you're wishing upon something. Have that game card. Because in the past possibly, because this is a past card, you didn't always have that lucrative situation. You didn't have this whole new world open up for you. The obstacle. Maybe dealing with a lover situation. Maybe something is getting in the way with love, partnerships, marriage. Lover's card in reverse while you're there. And maybe that's what you're wanting too and it's not there yet. The lover, the lovers, why are you there for Gemini? feel like there's no give and take in a love situation. Understandable. I can see where that's an obstacle. That is the Six of Pentacles. That's someone giving more than the other. Or maybe that someone's just not willing to give too much. Maybe they're not able to do so right now. Can I get another card for the lovers and the Six of Pentacles? And it could be that you're not ready to give this love or this give and take or this offer. That's causing some distress around you. The people around you, because you get the page of cups in reverse, someone's not making an offer of love and not willing to give in. Current environment, mid-November, mid I should say, as it starts. You're having trouble making a choice, a decision, because you're looking for happiness. I could use those and really rock the boat here. Let's do it. You're indecisive with the two of wands. You're not taking control of a certain situation. It could be with the lovers because you're looking for some gain and you have wishes that you need fulfilling first. You need to cross off everything off your bucket list maybe. There's that wish again. You're not taking control. For me, when I see this, is someone that can take control and not putting yourself out there so you can get your wishes. You're not letting old, old energies pass that were negative. You're not moving on to better things. You're feeling this. This is more feelings. 
You feel like you can't offer a passionate beginning with somebody or messages you may feel like aren't coming to you. You feel like you have no independence right now and or the ability to offer what somebody's wanting from you or what you're wanting from them. They're not making a decision. This could be the other way around too. Outside environment, what's coming towards you? Someone's not making a decision. They're, they're not taking any offers for some reason. They're not messing around. This person's not messing around with other people. Don't, if this is a relationship situation, they're not looking for everything. They may be just turning things down because they don't trust situations. They got their eye on the prize. Instead, they want the best things in life. I'm feeling that for some of you. Seven of Cups in reverse. Why are you there as the outside environment? Get that card a lot. Someone's not wanting to settle down. They're not wanting to relax. They're wanting to get up and go and do things. Can I get another card for the Seven of Cups? And the Four of Swords in reverse. Communications. Someone's not communicating. And this could be the cause of the whole situation. Someone's just not communicating. They're not accepting offers right now. Because possibly... Maybe because... You're not accepting these offers and they feel like that you won't accept it. And they feel like communication is off. Maybe you cut out somebody too. This uh, person. You cut out communications with somebody. And it could be because you don't think they're, they have very good options for you. I'm seeing a lot of Geminis or some of the Geminis I should say. Trying to succeed in life and they're going for that, that gold in life. They have goals. Final, final outcome. Queen of Wands. You're going to be dealing with the Queen of Wands. Whether you this is your energy you take on, but it is a fire energy. It's not a Gemini energy usually, but it can be if you decide to. You may have it in your chart somewhere. We all have a fire in our chart somewhere. Most of us do. This is someone putting on their crown and taking on this energy and winning. This someone is very attractive usually, or they can appear to be, or the energy that they're putting out is very attractive. If it is a fire sign, it will be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, not necessarily in that order. But they're in the upright and they're a good person, basically. Their energies are very contagious and uplifting, and people like being around them. So if this isn't you, you're going to be around somebody who, who is very um, charming. Upbeat, kind, encouraging. Queen of Wands, in the upright, why are you there? For Gemini, what's going on? Because we got the two of Wands there. This person is indecisive still. They're in the upright. They're indecisive. They don't understand what you're wanting. Or you don't understand what they want. You feel like they're not making the choice towards you or the right choices in life. And maybe that's why you're going to come across them to talk to them. Because of choices that were made that maybe weren't positive for them or for you. Can I get another card for the two of wands? The why. Why is, why is, why is that fire energy there? Who's take, why is that energy taking on their crown, their power? It could be dealing with someone in the past. It could be that some of you are trying to forget this fire type energy in the past. You might have decided against them in the past even though they were positive. Because you're looking for different things. It's like you're putting love from you for some of you. Or vice versa, someone can be doing this to you. But this person 
is in the upright, and I will put that out there because they are. You saw, you see it. The ending energy is a ten of swords in reverse. Someone's feeling they're not feeling as betrayed or stuck. They don't feel like things have ended. They're still feeling a little bit of pain, though, with the situation. It's not forgotten, but it has lessened. The pain has lessened somewhat. But it's like you're going through the motions of deciding what you want in life. You do have options, but you just may not take them up. You may turn down these outside energies. Because you got different wishes and hopes and dreams. But remember that person is still the final outcome. They're there. And you can put in the comments if I have them open about why he or she is there. Possibly someone from the past. You may be trying to forget about them because you didn't make a decision towards them. But they're still in the upright. But you're going to be thinking about them in November and deciding what to do. And I will be reading hopefully before December to get these readings out. I like to give positive readings. And I think this is not a negative reading. It just shows that you're busy and you're still, like I said, trying to keep things together. And this is your reading. And I hope you have a good November. Remember, if you don't like this path, change it. You have that power. It's up to you. Bye.